A lot of people want Jesus to come to them because they're scared to do suffering, that's why. After all, the church has been getting lashed and tormented and stripped and prostituted. But brother, if you moved up with God, I'll tell you what you're doing. Your heart's more broken now than it was when you started ten years ago. You see the nation going downhill more rapidly than she's ever gone before. Prostitution is increasing, crime is increasing, immorality is increasing, lawlessness is increasing. And in the richest, most comfortable country in the whole world, we stink in the nostrils of Almighty God tonight, and England is equally true. It's equally true of England as well. Ah, the prophets were men who walked with God. They felt like God. They saw like God. They wept like God. They yearned like God. We keep up the I speak unto thee this day, and I say that I do not call you to be vexed by the fears that haunt the heathen. But I say that I call you to put on the helmet of salvation, to hold up the shield of faith, to use the sword of the Spirit, and drive back those demon forces. For I say that by the living God do not intend that you would be haunted, that you would be tormented with the fears that plague the heathen, but I say that I've intended that you would make up your minds to stay in me. That is, ever using the weaponry in the spirit that I've given unto thee, that you could prevail. Now I say you are living in a time when many have strayed from me, they have departed from the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. And I say they've gone according after the ways of the heathen, thereby they open themselves to be tormented by the fears of the same. But I say if you will steady yourselves in me, believe upon me, and look to me, what will you see? I say you will see that I am indeed the living God who is well able. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that my own people would be repentant, that is, living in a repentant frame of mind before me. But I say, when men and women grow proud, they trust themselves, they believe in the goodness of who they think they are, and I say, they take themselves far from me. For I say that the truth of it is, the heart is desperately wicked, and each man and woman needs me. That is, even the ones who are born again of incorruptible seed need the power of my presence in their lives. For I say, you can indeed be born again of incorruptible seed, then I say, you can abandon the same. And I say you can go according after the ways of the heathen, take on the plagues, take on the curses that they are in. But I say if it is me that you look to in faith, in trust, in confidence, then you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the light, the strength that I provide. Now I say this day, if you truly consider that all things will work together for your good, if you are abiding in me, then I say give thanks and praise unto me. For I say, when you truly are thankful unto me, then I say, the wiles of the enemy will not overwhelm me. But I say, you will know, understand, and realize that, yes, indeed, you are in a warfare, and it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth. And it is me, the living God, who will direct thy steps and instruct thee day by day. Now I say, this day, be thankful for the privilege to believe me, to receive of me, and be brought forth by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness, the way of truth, and the way that his mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever guide forth the people who are putting their trust, their faith, their confidence in me. For I say it is not a difficult thing to live for me if you keep your vision single. Now I say this day when you allow yourself to live in fantasy, when you allow yourself to be enticed by worldliness and ungodliness, then I say that you will be governed by the fears of the same. And I say that you will go under their plagues, you will go under their diseases, you will go under their torments, for I say you have opened the door. But I say if you will indeed keep trusting in me, looking to me and believing upon me, you will see that I am able. And yes, you will see that it is me, the living God, who will direct, correct, and bring you forth. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk uprightly. I say that I intend you to be ever thankful, to be guided by me. That is, to know that it is me, the living God, you are meant to look to and believe. For I say you are not meant to be continually disturbed because you accept the lies of the liar into your soul. And I say you are not meant to be vexing yourself in discontentment and living in fantasy because you will not embrace my way that I have for thee. But I say when you fully embrace the way that I've set before thee, then I say that you can serve me with gladness each day. And I say you can appreciate the mercies that I've given unto thee, for it is me, the living God, who has given the abundance of the same unto thee. 
Now I say there are many who jump ship, that is, they abandon my way because they give themselves to fabricated inventions of their own minds. And I say they listen to the demons who build up fantasies of how great their lives would be if they abandoned me. And I say they follow after vanity, they follow after folly, and I say they end as fools. For I say they have taken the course of abandonment of my way to take up the way of darkness and evil and iniquity, even though they tell themselves it is not true. For I say if any man or woman will forsake my way, no, they are going right into the way of darkness. And no, they will be driven by demons until they are possessed of the same. For I say there is not any man or woman that can free themselves from possession by demons when they have abandoned me. And I say they will go down the broad way, the way that leads to destruction. Now I say this day the best remedy for pride and high-mindedness and fantasy and delusion is to abandon yourself wholeheartedly in repentance unto me. And I say when I the living God do show you the error of your way, I say keep on repenting. That is, do not be defiant of my way, my rule over thee, but I say, be thankful for the same. For I say, if you truly will walk in humility before me, then I say, you will see your utter need of me. Now I say, this day count a privilege to keep on believing, to keep on receiving, to keep on walking uprightly in me. And I say, be thankful that each and every day that I will uplift and guide you, direct and instruct you in my way. And I say, be thankful that through me you are given the newness of life, the truth, the hope, and the peace day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does expect that my own would conduct themselves in an orderly manner before me. That is, not abandoning themselves to the foolishness, the vanity, the stupidity that is found in the world, but walking in the straight and narrow way that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will instruct you in wisdom and guide you in truth, if you keep your focus ever upon me. But I say, if you abandon yourself to those things that plague the heathen, you will likewise be plagued. Now I say, it is foolishness to take on the way of a fool, to take on the way of the proud, to take on the way of the worldly, when you have been given the privilege to live for me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will guide thee forth in the way that I offer, the way that I provide. Now I say, therefore, this day, in a way with a perverse, a vile, and wicked generation, why not be glad that you can continue to keep serving me? That is, why not be glad that I, the living God, will give unto you the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope of who I am? And I say, why not be glad that I, the living God, will direct you and instruct you and guide you forth in the newness of life that is found in me? For I say, when you truly appreciate the privilege you have to serve me, I say it will not be hard to repent and keep on moving forward in me. But I say when you repent you are not merely meant to mouth high sounding phrases, but I say you are meant to seek to change your way. And I say you are meant to seek to be under my covering rather than your own understanding. For I say you can be sneaky, you can be conniving, you can be scheming, and all the while you are rebelling against me. And you think if you get your way that your life will be so wonderful, I say you are a fool. For I say you are taking the way that the demons are feeding into you, and I say that your belly will be full of gravel in the end. But I say if you will simply abide in the straight and narrow way that I give thee, and content yourself to be at peace with me, then you are brought forth in me. And yes, you are given the truth, the light, the blessedness that I do bring, for it is me, the living God, who is able. And yes, you are given all that you have need of, for I, the living God, will direct thy steps. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to live, to die, to perish as fools because they refuse to listen to me. But I say that I call my people to accept my rule over them, to be thankful for the same to drink of the waters of life. For I say it is me, the living God, who does offer the way of truth and light, the way of mercy and hope, and the way of forgiveness to those who walk in repentance revolution. And it is me, the living God, who will guide my people forth in the safe way, the humility way that I provide. But I say, when any man or woman will continue to live in proud fantasy, will continue to live in their own imagination, they are living in lies. And I say, they are inviting unto themselves deception because they refuse to accept my way for them. Now I say, consider that every time you are fretting and fussing and fuming against me, you are literally rebelling against my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who knows the covering that you need, and I say that I'm always present to give to you the same. 
But I say, when you grow weary of my way, my life, my truth, you are setting yourself up for a fall. I say, this day it is only the foolish that will go headlong to their own destruction. But I say that the wise will pay heed unto me. And I say, they will sober themselves up from their delusional mindset and come into the truth that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will direct thy steps and instruct thee as you pay heed to me. And I say, it is me, the living God, who will give you the sobering truth that you do not need to be taken in a proud, a defiant, a rebellious generation under the plagues of the heathen and be bound in the same. But I say that you can indeed be kept in me, drinking of the waters of life. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the life flow. It is me, the living God, who is the rivers that will cleanse thee of all those things that are vile and corrupt. And it is me, the living God, who will give unto you the sweet, pure water of life, if you will but look to me. But I say, if you choose to lose, you will drink of the bitter waters that are ever present to vex you, torment you, and cause you damnation of soul. And I say, when you drink of the fountain of death, of course you die. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to die, but I say that I call them to be thankful that they can indeed be found abiding in me, that they can indeed be coming forth, uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say, if you will continue long in me, that is, abiding in my way, then you must be willing to accept and walk in correction and direction in your life. For I say that I, the living God, do chastise my children, to teach them the wholesome fear of me. And I say that I do not allow my children to run uncorrected, unrected, and unchaperoned, but I say that I guide them in the way of life. Now I say if you are resenting such a covering, you are resenting me. I say this day be thankful that I give to you the truth and the light that you can be guided always. And I say be thankful that I give to you the hope of who I am. I say be made glad in me. For I say it is a wondrous, a beautiful, a blessed thing to be brought forth in that which I give. And I say it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth as you continue to trust in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to be set up by the cunning craftiness of the demons of this world, but I say that I call my people to be guided forth by me. That is, ever thankful that it is me, the living God, who will direct, direct, and instruct them each day. I say this day be glad for the privilege to continue in repentance, and likewise declare the same. For I say that is the desperate need of humanity in this time, and I say there is no other remedy, remedy for the darkness that is upon the land. Therefore I say, sober up and keep your focus single that is upon me, for it is me you are meant to please. Now remember, if you are ever seeking for gratification, satisfaction in the flesh, you are seeking after that which does not exist. For I say that men will abandon me to go after the most stupid of things, only to find they have chased a demon, only to find in the end it is bitterness and hatred and vileness and corruption because of their rebellion against me. But I say they are the ones who choose to lose by drinking of the fountain of death, the river of bitterness, rather than the river of life. I say this day be thankful that I the living God am the one who will guide you forth in truth and light and mercy if you will but cleave to me. And I say be thankful that I give to you the truth and the light upon the path. Be thankful that you can indeed be instructed, directed, and corrected each day by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of blessedness and mercy, and the way of hope provided. Now I say, therefore, continue as a steadfast people who are ever believing and likewise receiving of me. For I say that I do not withhold any good thing from those who will walk uprightly, from those who will be accepting of my guidance in their lives. For I say it is me, the living God, you are meant to seek to please, obey, and follow after. I say be thankful for repentance, revolution, the humility, way of life that will keep you abiding in me. We love the Lord at all. We love ourselves. We love our money. We love our material. We love our mechanisms, but we don't love God. We only say we do, but in reality, in practice, we don't. We don't worship Him. The church don't worship Him. The state or the family. They don't worship God the way God deserves to be worshipped. It's only lip service and not heart service. And that's why more destruction is coming. What if what I'm about to tell you makes you question, what is what? What if I propose a what if scenario? What if I were to take up precious time in your busy life, just spinning you in a soul-dulling spiral with meaningless double talk, but at the same time, 
What if I kept you distracted with flashy graphics? Would you notice? Or for that matter, would you care? Ah, you're too busy listening to some guy in a tie. I sleep.